Welcome to beautiful Appling, Georgia for the second stop of the National Amateur Disc Golf Tour Premier Event Series brought to you by Prodigy Disc, hosted and produced by Gatekeeper Media and footage by Ace Run Productions. I am your host, Philo Brathwaite, and we are getting ready to kick off this final round on W.R. Jackson, the big beast course out here at the International Disc Golf Center. The competitors have played two rounds on this two-day event. Saturday, they got it in on the Steady Ed Hedrick and Jim Warner tracks, and now they are here at W.R. Jackson for their final round. Look at this leaderboard tied up at the top. We've got Marshall Eipert and Davidson McMurray, 13 under a piece. Welcome, everybody, to the lead car. I shot pretty well. The NADGT from Dave premiere Felberg here. at IDGC Jackson Course. We are in the final round. These four gentlemen are in position to go to Austin or Florida if they'd like to skip. They're also playing for a spot in the next Pro Tour tournament of their choice. Let's welcome our leader co-leader i apologize at 114 let's welcome to the t mr marshall eifert marshall on the box of hole one it is a gauntlet here to start off couple of nice fairways but he leaks off to the right Next a little bit team. maybe a little bit of raz from also, the tour director dave felberg out there with the, the phone team. in his face i think we'll have a battle today let's welcome the future davidson mcmurray <laughs> davidson mcmurray on the box Opting for fairway left, something slidey. Gets past those defining ones right there, and he's fairway left. Got an opportunity to attack the green. Four strokes off the lead. Well done. Let's welcome to the tee, Mr. Sawyer Barlow. <laughs> Sawyer Barlow coming in third place alone, 40 career events, three career wins at MA1, all C tiers. Gives this one a hefty huck, but yeah, all right, leaks back Round towards the edge of the fairway. Not too bad. Five strokes off the lead. Let's welcome Mr. Logan Burrow. <laughs> Logan Burrow on the box. PDGA member from 2019. Opting for fairway right. A little bit of a kick, a little bit of trouble. Let's see if he can get his way out of there. Back with Logan Burrow for his second shot, fairway right. That sets down, gives him an opportunity. Marshall playing his second also from fairway right. Burned it over just a bit, but should be a relatively routine up and down to get his par. That's what you're looking for when you get tied up. Just get back in the middle of the fairway. Solid second shot. Circle two putt coming up. Logan going to the flick for his third. That's nicely done. Solid on the... Onto the green circle one bid, trying to scrape up par. No 
another nice use of the sidearm. Gets him up into the green. Deep circle one. And all these guys utilizing that sidearm game. Marshall slides it into circle one. Big putt coming up here. Maybe a little early round jitters. That leaks out there a little ways too. There's a confident putt for par. Nicely done there from Sawyer. Logan in the house with a nice par, with a nice couple of recovery shots there after the tee shot got a little wild. Davidson able to snap in a par. So it looks like all square. Marshall just has a little tester here. Able to send it home. So everybody on this lead card, final round, collects par at the difficult first hole here at WR Jackson. We'll send it on over to hole number two. Very technical. Heiser line, bunch of trees, definitely don't want to see that happen. Cannot have the disc leaking to the right here. You're going to find yourself in trouble. Marshall's going to have a tricky upshot. Davidson next. Nice looking swing. Gets about two-thirds of the way up the fairway. That's the ideal line right there. High and tight on the right side. Nice flare skip, beautiful, excellent shot from Sawyer Barlow. Not a bad place to miss out there, circle two. You can see Marshall's a little bit tied up. Not surprised to see that happen. Tough shot. See if he can scramble up a bogey. Davidson, beautiful touch on the approach. No problem collecting par. Back to Marshall, third shot. There we go. Get up and down for bogey. Long bid here for Logan. 957 player from Perrysburg, Ohio. So, suburb of Toledo, Ohio, if you're not familiar. Nice bid there for Birdie. Bounces it off the band. Fantastic Birdie drive and putt there from Sawyer Barlow. 937 rated player from Knoxville. Just two years into the PDGA. That was a nice looking drive. Just like that, Davidson McMurray now atop the leaderboard. Just two holes in, but it's going to be Sawyer Barlow's box here at hole three. Very, very technical par four. This should be a par four in the... The box score is 726. Yep, you got to get to the corner, fire it up the hill. Very protected basket. A lot of the pros you'll see playing that big Anheuser. That's a good looking flick there from Logan. Try to get in position, make the corner. There you go. See if Marshall can bounce back after that bogey back at two. Solid play. If you've played out here at Jackson, you know this second shot is the most important one of the bunch. Get in position off the tee, but man, it is so tough to get up there by the basket. That's looking nice from Davidson. 
Beautiful shot. Marshall also looking to attack. Nice line. She get a nice little flare skip and it does. Do I want to go for it or do I want to just pitch out? <laughs> okay. I don't think you want to. But okay. A bit of a layup move there from Logan. Get back in position. High flexing Anheuser. All right, finds his way onto the green. Back with Sawyer. Nicely done. Bit of a layup there from Davidson, and now Marshall. Ooh, solid bid. Just a little shy. That would have been a nice way to earn back a stroke. Lengthy bid here from Logan, trying to save par. Oh, what a fantastic line. Just didn't have the air. There you have it. Davidson par. Tough hole, hole three. Ooh, early tree there. That's going to be punishing for Davidson. Opportunity here for Marshall to take a stroke back after donating one just a couple holes ago. Also catches a tree but stays fairway central, so that's good. Sawyer pipes one down the middle. Oh, a late tree, but still going to give him an opportunity for a putt. A little pull from Logan, hoping to get back to the fairway. Looks like he did right side. Marshall from the fairway, lengthy approach here into the green. That was well done from Marshall. Definitely the most experienced of the bunch, I'd say. 111 career events, seven wins. Currently 966 rated. So we watch Davidson try to get onto the green and catching some more trees. So he's gonna have a long third. Logan. Ooh, late tree for Logan. Gonna have a tester for par. Davidson from range, opting to lay up, take his medicine, take the bogey. Logan, another solid bid from range. Just does come up short. Sawyer surfs the rim and picks up some more feet, probably similar distance. Going to try to stop the hemorrhaging with this putt here. Blows past again. Yeah, really got to try to collect himself here and knock this in. Ugh. Solid par for Marshall after that early tree hit. It's a nice looking putt there. Beautiful stroke that moves up and down the line of the basket. Yeah, 
and a frustrating double bogey for Sawyer. Yo-yoing back and forth on the putting green. And bogey for Davidson. To the action hole five wr jackson 432 feet it's a rip not looking so good there for marshall logan opting for the forehand this is looking so clean that's a fantastic effort there. Makes his way through the gauntlet. Going to have a long jump putt bid for birdie. Nicely done. Sawyer Barlow trying to recover after the double. And a lot of body English there, but I'm not sure if that helped him much. Lengthy approach. Still got a ways to go and a lot of trees to navigate. And punches his way about two-thirds of the way. Going to have that same look as Logan. Marshall from, oof, trouble. Keep going. Going forehand roller. Look at this shot. Did you get that gap? Assuming that's somewhere around 75, 80 feet away. Long bid for par. Davidson kind of in jail on the left side, but made pretty good progression. Looks like he's about circle's edge putting for par. Nice approach into the green there for Sawyer. Logan now, best drive of the group. Long range birdie. I like his courage on the putting green. Certainly not coming up shy. Yep. Long jump putt for Marshall. That's going to net bogey here on the difficult par three hole five. Now Davidson buzzes the tower. A long comebacker again. Bogey. These two guys going back and forth, chasing each other around. Opportunity there for Davidson. Had a relatively makeable par putt. There's a par there for Logan. Yeah, these guys took it to the first two tracks out here, the Steady Ed Hedrick course and the Jim Warner, but out here at WR Jackson, things are a bit different. More technical, longer holes. Really got to put a move on these discs and hit some really narrow gaps. Here at hole six, another super technical drive, 366 feet. Players opting for the skinny hyzer line, something neutral, trying to get as much progression as they can and finding some trees. See if Davidson can find it. Oh. Mm. That was close. Was. That's got good attitude on it. Clean drive there from Sawyer. A little shy. Does play up the hill a bit, so does take a pretty healthy snap to cover that distance up the grade. You look at the green. Davidson, long birdie bid. Solid play there. Gets him a par putt. Well, that had some action on it there from Marshall. Really shaped that up nicely from the jump. Logan from range. Ooh, first shy putt of the round. Good line. Tap in par coming up. Can Sawyer turn the page here? Bunch of bogeys in the last three holes. 
not to be par coming up as well par frames looking like for the fellas davidson just a short tap in gets it to go Oh, heavy chains and splash out for Sawyer. It's going to four holes with a bogey. Or worse, par there for Marshall. And par for Logan. This is one of my favorite holes out here. W.R. Jackson hole number seven. Got to throw a nice drive to get into position to even have a chance to attack the green. And that is kind of buried. Not ideal. You'd like to be on the left to the, of the screen from there. But you might have a little window. See how Marshall does. That can be really good. I hope. That has the right look to it. There we go. Safely in the fairway. Would ideally like to be a little longer, but that's for the pros. That's going to make things interesting. Just 10 feet to the left of that would be perfect. As we're seeing it on the screen, and that's going to be inside and early as well. Really hard to make progression. Ooh, it might have snuck through. Well, you might have a window there. It's tough when you finish hard left from where they're throwing from. Definitely want to end up in the open. And you can see all the trees in Logan's face. Just going to have to pick a window and pray. Does well to get to there in the fairway. Sawyer just trying to punch something out with the sidearm. Get back into the fairway. And does so nicely. Going to have a long... Approach into the green, trying to save par. Sidearm roller for Davidson. This is headed up the left side. Kind of like that play. There is some space over there. There's a trail that leads towards the bucket. Marshall for his second. Beautiful drive. Let's see what he does with it. Well, he certainly did attack that like a pro would. Perfect drive, gets him in position, solid second shot. Oh, what a heck of a play there from Sawyer. Third shot onto the green. Davidson looking to use the right side of the fairway, draws it in nicely. Late tree there for Logan. Going to have a challenging putt. Big opportunity here for Marshall. Strokes on folks if he can knock this in from range. Oh, band and return to sender. Hard to watch those. Valiant effort and a tough break there for the Marshall Eipert. What a par putt. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Nicely done. I believe this is for par for Logan. I really like that kid's putting motion. Looks good. There's a putt. Sawyer finally stops the hemorrhaging. And another nice putt there from Davidson McMurray, 964 from Lawrence, South Carolina. That's right in between Greenville and Columbia. Out there on the East Coast, lots of great disc golf out that way. Moving right along, hole eight. W.R. Jackson, sidearm is the play here. And that hits early and gets beat down. Probably best just to get back into the fairway and attack the green. Not the longest of par fours. 
definitely want to end up in the fairway and give yourself a chance because it is super tight on your way to the green. That's a fantastic kick into the center of the fairway for Davidson Sawyer. Mm, catches a tree and I believe ends up just next to it. Logan also going sidearm. That may have stood up just a little too much. Beats all the trees, though, a little bit on the left side. Let's see what he's got from there. Marshall's second play. Back to the forehand roller. Making good progress. That's a good play. This is where things can get dicey. That second shot is tight. Does catch a tree, but stays just off the edge of the fairway. He should be able to get up and down from there. Davidson McMurray. Nice landing there off the drive. Can he do something with it? Ah, oh, that last tree could have got a little bit of a skip. A little bit of work left. Solid play there from Logan. Gets himself out of jail and maybe a long jump put at it. Third shot for Marshall on the green. Nicely done there from Sawyer. Davidson, super long range birdie bid. See if he can cash it. Coming up short, but pars are good out here. Logan also banding from range. That would have been a huge birdie pickup. Let's we'll settle for par. Sawyer. A little sportsmanship there from Marshall. Keep things moving right along. Man from Milford grabs a par. That's out there in the Cincinnati area. Been around since 2017. Has Mr. Marshall Eifert. 111 career events, seven career wins. His biggest win was out there in Indiana at the Severn Lang A tier win back in 2020. Mr. Burrow's going to clean up his par, and we're going to head on over to hole number nine. Ooh, that's punishing. Position is everything out here at hole nine. Again, not the longest of par fours, but placement is everything. These guys are having a hard time. Threading the needle on this technical tee shot here. Almost makes it up there to the fork in the road. It's a tough tee shot. Not surprised to see these guys struggling a little bit. Maybe back to the forehand roller for Marshall. He's been utilizing this shot frequently when he finds himself in jail. And hard I to tell so. from that angle about the progression. It's not the longest par four, so if he's back in the fairway, should be able to get up and down and scrape up a par. Not quite. Still fighting for it. Another sidearm roller down the fairway, catches another tree, and now he's got about 150 feet to the green. 180, somewhere in that ballpark. Logan, second shot. Instant tree. Davidson, opportunity. Misses all the Guardians and finds himself right around Circle's Edge, maybe just inside. Nicely done from Davidson McMurray. 
with Marshall Eipert in trouble, this could really be a game swing right here for change of momentum for Davidson. Sidearm roller for Sawyer. Chop his way back into the fairway. You can see the basket now. There you go. Nicely done there for Marshall to mitigate any putt. Logan Burrow. That's some nice touch with the sidearm. Love to see it. Yeah, tough putt there for Sawyer, trying to make something happen. This is a little more standard and Oh, that was everything but in. Looked nice out the hand and just dies. Big moment here for Davidson McMurray. Big birdie putt. Big swing and momentum there for the youngster. Bogey for Sawyer. Bogey for Marshall. And bogey for Logan. Well, W.R. Jackson picked on the fellows a little bit. McMurray's the only one who kind of survived, I guess you could say. Marshall took a bit of a beating, lost three strokes. Davidson McMurray, now your leader by two. Marshall and Sawyer battling it out down there for third. A bunch of guys chasing right behind. We definitely hope you guys have enjoyed this first nine holes coverage of the second stop of the National Amateur Disc Golf Premier Events Series out here at the International Disc Golf Center, Appling, Georgia. Going to run it back on the back nine and see who takes down this championship.